Living Classes for Eiffel TV in association with Matthews Jim Marbella. We're at the weigh-in here for Derry Matthews versus Tony Louise. Just weighed in, getting a drink down in Derry Matthews. Do you know what? They should look in the records. That could be the longest ever face-off in boxing history. Do you know how long that lasted? About two minutes and 12 seconds. I hope the, I hope the fight goes quick. I hope the flatten them quick. Uh, <laughs> it's what the public want. Isn't it? They want to see entertainment and... You know, the kids wouldn't look away, I'm not going to look away, and that's what happens in boxing. Mm. We know that Tony Louise obviously had a, a fight originally planned for, for this Saturday anyway, so he was always going to be in decent shape, and he looked in, in good shape coming on the scale. So that was, you know, it's not like he's just taken a fight off, not not off a training camp, so you expected him to be in that condition anyway. Yeah, he, he, I think he's in world class, um, world class condition, you only have to look at the shape of his body, and, you know, I think... He had a tough fight in America, and lucky enough, we've, we've got him here, and he's come to win. He's, he's a winner. He said that in the press conference. He's a winner. I'm a winner. So, you know, the, the fans and, and the public are in for the for the great night, the great fight. You insisted that you felt Tony Louise was a much more difficult opponent for you than Ismail Barossa, and you still stick by that? Yeah, I stick by that. Um, but okay, but but also had a great knockout ratio, but he could be it. The, me and Danny studied them and soon only had to see one, one or two rounds and, and I said, no, well, I'll flatten him. Um, this one's going to be a lot trickier. He's a more come forward fighter. In like, he comes in straight lines, but he's very tight. and you know He's a good he's a good champion. He's, he's a proven champion. He's been in a good fights already. He's coming off a great win against a former Olympian. Um, you know, so he's going to be confident. He's, he's going to be very, very confident. He's, he's been in with a, a world-class fighter his last fight and won. So, you know, I'm, I'm expecting a tough night. Haven't seen too much of him. He describes himself as a boxer puncher type fighter. Um, do you feel like you will knock him out though, or stop him? Well, I'm, I'm hoping that I can get to him. Um, you know, for the air to me earlier, thinking, you know, and that's that, that, that's the plan. What I, what I want to do. That's what we've set out to do, and you know, it's going to be a pretty great fight. All right. Well, listen, it's a great turnout here for the Wayne and. Um, like I said, Saturday night, tomorrow night, fight night, and uh, you've got a, a job to do and to realise your uh, well titled dream. Tony's just coming out to see the doctor while I'm sitting here getting interviewed, so I can't sleep him. No, but listen, thanks to everyone, thanks for yourselves, everyone at MGM for all, all the support and the, the help we've had in training camp. We've had a brilliant camp, especially thanks to Danny, my trainer, who's been away for 12 weeks with me, preparing and you know, it's been hard for, for all of us, and, and then Taff as well, who's, who's had me in great condition. You know, we had to look at the scale today, a couple of ounces under the championship limit, and you know, away we go tomorrow night. Let's get the win and, and let's move on. Absolutely. All right, Derry Matthews, listen, thank you very much for talking to Eiffel TV, and uh, wish you the best of luck ahead of tomorrow night's fight. Thank you.